G'day guys, Ride here, your Chief Espresso Officer. Coming all the way from Australia to you in my kitchen again. Still haven't returned back to the cafe. Uh, but today, we're going to give you a review of a fantastic product. I think it's a must have for every home barista. The Airscape Canister from Planetary Designs. So let's check it out. So, Planetary Designs was born in 1992 in Western Montana in the mountains and they're all about brewing whilst camping. So they have three products including the Airscape canister. There's the Brewtrek, which is like a French press when you're camping, a really rugged, waterproof, drop proof and a safe way to brew coffee whilst trampling through the mountains of West Montana. And they also have the Ethos, which is more of a French press design for home. So it's a glass one, but it's still a very rugged design. And then they have the Airscape canisters. And these come in a whole different range of designs, colors, timber lids, copper, white. This is the charcoal and the sizes. So this is a one kilo canister. And why I love the one kilo one and why I reckon it's every home barista should have one is because a lot of these canisters are only 500 grams which is about a pound or you know this is about two pounds which most coffee that you buy in the shops comes in either a 500 gram uh, pound or a one kilo bag so trying to find a canister that fits your entire kilo of beans in it is very difficult and Planetary Designs and the Airscape canister are the only ones that I've really found that fit comfortably a one kilo, but it doesn't just stop there. First thing you'll notice is that it's made from 304 stainless steel, which is a food grade stainless steel as well, which means that the food can go in there and you can eat off of it, or you can eat out of it if you need to. So it doesn't matter if you're just storing coffee beans in there, you can store any type of food in there because it's an airtight chamber, it won't degrade as quickly as a regular bag. Underneath is a beautiful rubber seal, which just helps when you place it down, sticks, doesn't slide around, and also doesn't wreck your bench top if you accidentally drop it. The lid is plastic, BPA free. Now, they come in different lids. The only issue I have with the lid is that if you do drop it from a height, it will shatter. One of my customers accidentally dropped it when he pulled it off and shattered it. And they actually are quite difficult to replace. So just be careful if you are buying it, try not to drop the lid. It does come in different types. So there's a timber lid as well, and that might be more durable than the plastic. The seal around the edge is fantastic. So it actually creates a tiny little bit of an airtight seal, but it doesn't stop there because inside it actually has another seal which is completely airtight and the way that it's designed is fantastic. You see there's a little handle here so you pull the handle up that opens the valve. There's a tiny valve in there and allows you to pull you can feel the air sucking out of there the lid off, and that is the main airtight chamber. When you're pressing it down again, you can feel the air pushing out, so it's actually pushing all of the carbon dioxide or the oxygen that's in there, and you push it down as far as you need to, and then close the lid, reseals it, and stops that valve from being open. So a brilliant design, and it really makes a difference so that you can keep all of your coffees in the bottom, whether they're in the bean form, whether you're ground, or what I like to do for extra added airtight freshness, actually keep them in the bags themselves and place the bag inside the container. So how good is this Airscape canister? Well, let's find out. I have in here stored some Burundi, which we haven't sold probably in about three months. 
So this is a coffee that normally, because it's a little bit of a lighter roast, would normally degrade within about 15, maybe 21 days. It was really when you'd want to use all of that coffee. We're talking two month old coffee here. It, if this is correct, I haven't opened this since I sealed it. So it sat in there with its own degassing valve inside there with its own airtight chamber. Let's see how much flavor is left in this after 60 plus days. So we're gonna do a little pour over and test it out. All right, so we're going to, for this one, do a pour over and I've got a lovely pour over custom made by a local potter, Donna Saunders Ceramics. And she's made this for me with this beautiful cup as well. So I'd love to give a shout out to Donna Saunders Ceramics. Uh, you can purchase it online. If you're in Australia, uh, she has a wonderful different uh, range of cups and brewing devices. So let's get into it. I'm gonna do 12 grams at a coarse grindness. I do have to use my uh, Breville Smart Grinder Pro. However, because I'm at home, normally I would like to use a more commercial grinder, but for the sake of this, we're at home anyway. Most people don't have a $5,000 commercial grinder at home. Let's get into it. It still has so much of the flavors in there. Not as much as what you would expect from a really fresh roast, but after two months, I'm amazed at how fresh this looks. And they're not oily, they haven't degraded at all, they haven't oxidized, they haven't sweated. So it's a testament to how great this chamber is. Ah, so we're just wetting the paper first, and what that does is just allows all of the energy as we're extracting it to go straight into the coffee rather than having to warm up the paper as well and also the ceramic edges. It also warms the cup as well, so when the coffee hits the cup, it doesn't lose its temp temperature. So I've just put in the coffee now, and we're gonna do a 50 ml bloom, which just adds 50 ml of water initially to allow that oxidization to happen. We'll see from the bloom how many bubbles and froth comes out of that, how much crema comes out of there, as to how much of those lovely oils are still left inside the grind. Okay, so we've added 50 ml of water to give it that initial bloom, and I was amazed to see how much crema came out of those grinds. Uh, of course, I used my little Mickey Mouse as in my agitator. You don't have to use a fork, you can use any sort of paddle pop stick or if you even you want to buy a precision one. Just gives it that bit extra agitation to allow those grinds to really be saturated with the water so that it releases all of those beautiful oils. Now we've allowed that to settle through. It should take about 30 to 40 seconds. I'm gonna add another 100 mils now and this will sit for about a minute. Just nice and gently. All right, and for the final 100 mils, again, just doing another minute sitting down and just getting those last little bits through. And it is looking and smelling fantastic. I'm really impressed because normally you would not be drinking filter coffee that's two months old. But in the container, inside the packet of coffee with their valve, it has just preserved the life of the coffee for just that extra time. Which is brilliant for anyone who doesn't go through a lot of coffee or if you just wanna savor the flavors of those coffees for a little bit longer instead of having to rush through and try and drink them all in 20 days. Okay, great. Now, I'm gonna put that away for later. Squeeze out just the last little bit of there. And that's gonna go in my compost bin. But just for now, I'm just gonna pop it in my little plant. And now we have a delicious, hopefully delicious, uh, filter brew that's more than two months old. I can smell there's still so much chocolate and plum 
it's definitely got some there. Yeah, amazing. That still has the characteristics that I remember from two months ago before I went into hospital. This, it has obviously lost a little bit of its depth and its characteristics. The complexity is not quite there and I probably over extracted it just a tad because I can taste some of the tannins in there. But that still has that boozy, plum, chocolatey finish. And incredibly, a lot more than I would have expected from a two month old filter coffee. So brilliant work, Planetary Designs. I give the rating for the Airscape canister 10 out of 10. If you have a brewer at home of any kind, whether it be an espresso machine, pour over, uh, misadashi, you need this storage device. Because I can tell you, if you're using pre-ground coffee, you need something that's gonna capture all of those flavors and hold them in place for as long as you're gonna get through that coffee. This comes in kilos, 500 grams, all sorts of types. I actually sell them on our website. So if you wanna jump on coffeebeansdelivered.com.au, you can purchase them there. And of course, if you like my content and you wanna keep me making these videos for you guys, then don't forget, give me a like, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and let me know in the comment section below just how much you like my videos. I'm Ride, your Chief Espresso Officer, and as always, enjoy your brew.